There it goes. God, people are so ugly. I'm just going to do the video right here, too. Unceremoniously. Unceremoniously. Poor guy lost the game. I wasn't attached to it. Disarmed well. That's Mook. That's our mascot. Hello and welcome to the December meeting for Famalab. It's going to be a quick meeting because it's the holiday time or it's the week before Christmas and we're just going to speed run it. Uh, Dan could not join us today, so I will go through the financial updates. This month we are up two members, down one total of 110. For donations, we got $193.64 from Amazon Smile. Thank you to everyone who has us as the charity of choice when they go to smile.amazon.com. We get like 0.1% of your purchase, which it adds up if you buy a lot. Uh, in the donation box, we had $23, a bunch of change and 13 rolls of pennies from Michael King. So thank you, Michael, for the pennies that will be paperweights. Uh, Dave Woods generously donated $1,300. So thank you again to Dave Woods forever and always. He is the best human being I've ever met, possibly. Um, for our updates, this is really formatted bad. Thank you to everyone who came out to the holiday shindig. It was a bunch of fun not nearly as big and boisterous as our normal shindigs usually are, but uh, we just wanted to have some form of get together. Uh, annual meeting is coming up in March. It will be either the 18th or the 25th. After the holiday, we'll start pestering you lots in Slack about it. Um, the only real thing of business for the annual meeting is our annual board elections. If you are interested in joining the board of directors and are a full member of Famalab in good standing, reach out to the board of directors and let us know. We'll give you the rundown and everything that goes into it. It's not a terrible lot of stuff. Basically make sure the bills are paid, our legal obligations are met, and you know, business stuff. Most Open of those legal obligations involve making sure those bills are paid. Yeah, it's mostly make sure bills are paid and annually make sure filings are done with the IRS to keep them happy. And once every five years, you know, renew our 501c3 status, I believe is next year. Or is that seven years? I don't remember. It's next year regardless. Open discussion, show and tell. Great. That was a fantastic discussion, everyone. I really enjoyed it. Upcoming events. The next open house will be the second Tuesday of January, which falls on January 10th at 8 p.m. The next board meeting will be on the second Thursday of January, which is January 12th at 8 p.m. And the next member meeting will be January 17th at 8 p.m. That's the third Tuesday for the member meeting. And all of those 8 p.m.s are ish. Yeah, ish. Uh, we delayed the start of the meeting today just so we uh, could give an opportunity for people to get here. Uh, we did have one prospective member that I knew was going to introduce, and I wanted to give them a chance to get here. Speaking of prospective members, our one prospective member is Michael Neal. So, Michael, intro Mike. Mike or Michael? Uh, anything. I respond to just about everything. I used to work in kitchens. Oh. So. Go ahead, introduce yourself, how you found Lab, what interests you, what you want to make, et cetera. Um, so, I found this place a couple of years ago, did a tour, and didn't have any projects. So, I let it sit. And then I had a friend join who should become a full member here soon. Um, that brought it back up, and I was like, holy crap. I was like, I should do that, because I didn't, because we procrastinate. Um, but we're we're lacking a lot of the machinery that you guys have on site, and we do everything from welding, woodworking, 
axe throwing, programming, I mean, pick. We, we've done a little bit of everything. Small electronics, macro electronics, it doesn't matter. Um, we just like to do shit. And doing shit with more people is more fun. Here, here. Oh, yeah. Um, my plus one next to me is my son, by the way. Um, 18, Gabriel, speak. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's about it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's fair. That's about it. Uh, you'll get something if he has a question. Um, other than that, he's fairly quiet. Any questions for Mike? Before I ask the ones that are in the barrel. <laughs> What's the first project that you would like to start at Famalab? I want to learn how to use the CNCs, um, both the metal CNCs and the wood CNCs. Uh, I have a number of things in the pipeline from custom keyboard cases to other frames and gadgets that could benefit from being able to see and see. That's a hell of a starting point. Do you, are, are you proficient with manual machining? Nope. Have you done manual machining? No, but I can generate. We'll start you there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can definitely generate the models for the computers to follow. Yes. Uh, with a older CNC that's not professionally maintained like ours, especially the metalworking one, it's uh, kind of important to at least have a familiarity with metalworking because yeah, that makes sense. it crashes and it's expensive. Yeah, the only metalworking that we know is hot metals, right? So forging, foundries, welding. That's cool. That's still cool. Questions? Follow-up question, how many projects are you going to start before you finish your first project? No, no. I finish before I start another one. Mm, how many people problem. are pressing X to doubt? Freezing. <laughs> <laughs> nah, everything that we've done so far uh, is pushed to a point where I can finish it in a weekend. And when I finish, I start something new. So mm -hmm. like with the axe throwing targets. We were given axes and we built targets in 3Ds. Um, my keyboards, once all the parts were ordered, they were soldered and built in three days, including the 3D printing of the case. Um, the arcade machine in our house, once all of the parts arrived, it was done in a weekend. I work full time and I have three kids, so all of my projects <laughs> have to fit into a weekend. That's fair. You have you have the weekend window. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I got three days. Any further questions for Michael? Thank you, Michael. Mike, I'll call it together right eventually. Yeah, it didn't matter. Um, I got on Slack's just an imp, so. All right, imp you are. I'm just gonna rotate this, and there I am, ish. I'm just gonna sit on everything. We've had two people complete the process this month. That is Estefania Herrera. Herrera, you get the roll. <clears throat> and Elizabeth Plug. That's Plug, right? You're getting, you're getting a slow pan. I'm getting a slow pan. Yeah, you. you um, that's perfect cinematography. This is a perfect yeah. slow. It's slightly better than when the laptop's on there. Uh, so those two will be joining. Uh, they'll be getting an email after the meeting on the next steps to the membership process. So welcome to Famalab, folks. And thus concludes the official agenda of Famalab for December 2022. The next meeting will be in 2023, because that's how time works. Does anybody have anything additional to add to the official agenda before we conclude? Yeah, meeting wasn't streamed, but it is recorded, so it'll be up later. It wasn't streamed? No, but it was recorded, so I'll upload it later. Why isn't it streaming? I don't know, because YouTube's dumb. Oh. All right, well, then we'll just post it and people can catch up. Uh, reminder that we have no, that FamilyLab employs zero people. Uh, everything that happens at FamilyLab is volunteer. People give their time and energy and please respect that and clean up after yourself. Don't break shit too bad. If shit breaks, let us know. 
and if you need to contact the board of FamaLab, we can be contacted via email at board at famalab.org. In any Slack channel, you can tag us at board uh, and at l.famalab.org slash issues is an anonymous issue reporting that you can also send in if it is particularly egregious or you don't want your name attached to it. Thus concludes our meeting. Good night. End the stream. Quickly. Stop.